Hello, today I'm looking at calculating the absolute uncertainty, calculating the percentage of uncertainty around the mean, and putting error bars on your Excel graph. So I've done an experiment dropping a golf ball from different heights. And you can see, hopefully, in my Excel spreadsheet, the different heights and the um, recorded times in seconds. First, I need to figure out the average of the three trials. So if I go equals, average, bracket, and then select those, and press enter, it's calculated the average of those three. If I hover over this, click on that, and hold down and drag, it will calculate or copy that formula. So now it's done the average for all of those trials. So now I have the average. That would be really useful for calculating the percentage of uncertainty around the average. Um, let's have a look at the absolute uncertainty first. So the first trial, 40 centimeters. I need to select the maximum trial minus the minimum trial divided by 2. So it's given by this formula here. So equals maximum trial 0.07, so that took the longest, minus the minimum 0.03, the quickest. Now let's put brackets around those and divided by 2. Enter. So that's the plus or minus around um, the average. Well, that's the plus and minus of the uncertainty in seconds. Okay, next let's do this again. So I can't just copy the formula because the maximum trial may be on a different cell. So let's have a look. I've got the maximum point. 1.5 minus the minimum and then divided by 2 just using this formula here so on and so forth okay so I've calculated all of my absolute uncertainties for the different heights for the time of testing now I need to calculate the percentage of uncertainty I'm going to do the absolute uncertainty divided by the average or the mean. Okay, and that's given me um, the percentage. Now we can drag or drop. Uh, so let's graph this. So select your data, and hold down control, and I'm doing the heights against the average. So let's plot this now, um, insert, I'm going to do a scatter plot. So if we select this data, we can add um, a trend line. Oh, actually, I want my distances on the y-axis, currently on the x. Okay, so I'm going to swap the axis, so select data, so edit, um, the X is going to be that, and the Y I want is my heights. Okay, so now my heights are there. The, um, uh, so last thing I want to do is add some error bars. You select the data, um, go to chart design, add chart element, um, error bars, these won't give us the correct error bars that we want because we want to use the absolute uncertainty that we calculated. So we need to select more error bar options. You can see how big these error bars are. They're currently incorrect. So we're going to change them. We're going to scroll down to custom, select value, and we're going to use the absolute uncertainty that we calculated. So 
the plus or minus, they are both the same thing. So the positive and the negative, and then OK. And so now we have our correct error bars. These are our plus or minus, the absolute uncertainty we calculated. So with our trend line, let's um, also add the equation and we can do the R squared value. So now we have the gradient, the R squared value. R squared is close to 1, which is good. I hope that was helpful um, in analyzing uh, data involved in a physics experiment. Thanks for watching.